brushing up on your brushes. When Tanner Gus came to school last year, his brush playing was uh, a little stiff. So we started steering Tanner towards some of the brush greats, uh, Marty Morell, the great Bill Evans, Joe LaBarbera, um, Philly Joe Jones, Jeff Hamilton, many, many players. And, and he just kept eating up the, the information and working and working and listening and imitating and coming up with exercises. So we now call him Tan Tan the Brush Man. I really encourage practicing the music and practicing with real musicians. And Tanner took that to heart and invited a bass player to this session. So everything he does, you can hear it in relation to the music. So enjoy brushing up on your brushes with Tanner Gus. Hey everyone, my name is Tanner Gus and I'm here with my good friend Brendan Keller Tuberg and today I'll be talking to you about brushes. I think as drum set players we often approach brushes with a stick mindset and I found that when we do that we miss out on so much uh, you know of the possibilities that brushes have and we aren't able to access their full potential and so today I'm going to talk about some ways that we can move beyond a vertical stick approach of playing and instead work from a horizontal approach that utilizes the natural flow and sound of brushes. Now before I jump in, I'm gonna say a few things on technique real quick. Now when I play, the brushes are resting on the head and they're just kinda of laying in my hands and I let the brushes do all the work. My hands just guide them around. And my right hand is flat, my thumb's flat so my wrist can move side to side like that. Uh, when I am playing brushes, I don't think in terms of like patterns like a lot of people do, I think in terms of motions and different combinations I can make with those. And with that, I have creative freedom to create grooves or textures that fit whatever music I'm playing in the moment. Uh, and today I'm gonna show you a few of the motions that I use in my playing. And the fundamental one that I use and the basis for everything I do is the circle, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just circles, so. You want to make full circles using the entire surface area of the head and be comfortable going left over right and right over left. And I give a little bit of extra pressure on the downbeat so you can feel the pulse more. And it's crucial that you have a nice even flow and that you take the full duration of every beat to make your full circle. Now once you have that, we can alter it just a little bit and we'll make our jazz ride pattern. So. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add accents in. So one of the motions I use to make accents is a slap motion, so. It's kind of a quick little turn of the wrist and a snap of the fingers and you push the brush kind of flat into it. But what's important is that you keep the circle going so you don't lose your flow when you do it. Now once you have accents you can use different snare drum comping ideas and triplets and using just circles you can create some really neat, unique and cool textures. One, two, three, four. The third motion I'm going to teach you and the last one I'm going to show you today is the overhand sweep. So we're here and the right hand comes over the top and follows the left hand around. And then just naturally flow back into your circle. Now with those three you'd be amazed at uh, all the cool things you can do. So here's what they sound like all together. Two, three, four. I think there's something incredibly relaxing and for me almost meditative even to play brushes and be in constant motion with the music and I'm able to lock into the flow and the energy of the music that much more and connect with the other musicians and I think it's honestly a beautiful art form that goes overlooked by most drummers these days so I really encourage you to, to dive in and if you'd like to maybe check out some more 
uh, brush playing, I'm incredibly influenced and I've gotten a lot of value out of the playing of Jeff Hamilton and Marty Morell. And I definitely encourage you to check them out as well. So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for listening and uh, keep on brushing. One, two, three, four. Three.